right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get underway. NBA 2K23, man, we might, the boy Mike Wong has been doing some tweeting. I say that man been doing some tweeting. That man been saying, hey, look, man, hey, look, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video because in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that we know so far about NBA 2K23. I got Mike Wong's Twitter up to the second, and, and probably about an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, that man said, he, he, he tweeted that thing, it's, it's all, it's, what, what, what did you say, uh, just order another round, it's about to go down, or, or as uh, Kevin Harbour said, it's about to go down, hey, hey man, look, the NDAs have been lifted, the, uh, the embargo's been lifted, all that stuff, man, this video gonna be long enough, so let's just get it right underway. The first thing, Mike is out here tweeting about, First of all, before we go, I think, this just hear me out. I believe that everything that's in NBA 2K, everything that's in the game is in the game. The only thing that separates things is they have to define it by a badge or they define it by a uh, an attribute or something like that. They tie it to the badge, tie it to the attribute, but everything is in the game. Let, like, like something like Deep Phase, they took deep, I think they took deep phase out of the game, but you could do deep phase still. Um, sniper, sniper is just in the game, but sniper used to be sniper is a badge. It's a placebo badge this year. I feel like, oh, you know, it feels like a lot of a lot of the time. Sniper was in the game to to help you if you use the shot stick, but they took the shot stick out, and then they had to redefine sniper to be, you know, it help you hit uh, slightly early and slightly late. But if you took it off, you still were hitting them anyway. I think that a lot of this stuff, pick and popper, like when they took it out of the game, is it in the game? I don't know if it's in this game or not, man. I ain't, I ain't look because I didn't put it on this year. But what I'm saying is, every time they take a badge out of the game, it's like the, the effects are still in the game. They're just automatically on the player because they, but because they didn't tie it to a badge, it's still there. Like something like this bullet pass. Look, bullet passer is gone, but. Pass speeds are tied to pass accuracy rating. Must have for playmakers. You understand what I'm saying? So like they took the badge out of the game. So bullet pass was just in the game for years. It didn't matter what it was. Bullet pass was just in the game. Passes was fast. It didn't matter. You you could have a low passer rating and it was there. And then they then they tied it to a badge which which was bullet passer. So if you didn't have your bullet pass and you didn't have bullet passer on, you were gonna throw slow passes. But in this case, I feel like Bullet Passer was a little bit redundant because you had to have your pass accuracy high in order to get the badge, and then you had to equip the badge and they, to be able to throw the passes that you wanted to be able to throw, when, in my opinion, pass accuracy should have been enough. So instead of it just being free in the game, they tied it to a badge first, and then they just tied it to uh, the attribute. Now, is what I'm saying clear? So now when they take something out of the game, like quick draw, they took quick draw to the game, it's just tied to something else. It's still in the game, but they just tied to something else. And if they don't define it, then it's just in the game, just like fades are just in the game. But anyway, that might be over y'all here, but I think most of y'all understand what I'm saying. Next up, he says, dunk rating dictates how easy it is to block dunk attempts. Flashy dunk boost your take, um, flashy dunk boost takeover meter, uh, bat scratches, windmills, tomahawks, and uh, other flashies are much harder to block in general. And that's something that, like we don't use other dunks. That's why that's why we had the quick drop epidemic this year. It was too easy to, in the beginning of the year, it was too easy to block stuff, or it was very easy to block things. So everybody went to quick drops, and then oh, they had to find a block, or they had to find a dunk that couldn't get blocked as easily, right? So then we went and found quick drops. Just like in the beginning of the year, one many moves that got you open, so, they had to find left, right. So now it looks like this is opening up the amount of dunks that we can probably do. I really hope y'all can't hear them cutting grass outside. Y'all know it's grass cutting season. It's raining every day. It's like, like it's rain on me. Lord, won't you take this pain from me? I don't want to play 2K22 no more. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's 2K23. Anyway, so your boy Pope West Sin says, current gen pie charts are gone. Poof. Also, double takeovers uh, for current gen. So now they got double takeover. It looks like they're trying to keep the current gen game alive. I'm sorry about that. It looks like they're trying to keep the current gen game alive as much as humanly possible, man. And uh, I can't I can't hate because a lot of people cannot get the game. And in certain cases, you know how we are as gamers. 
gamers is the one thing in life that's inclusive. So it's like, in real life, I can't get the 500 bands. I probably could. I don't know how much it costs, but anyway, it costs, you know, it costs too much money. I don't want to. So if I can't get it in real life, I just don't get it. You don't get it. But with gaming, it's a little bit different. It's supposed to be the one thing that comes together. We all inclusive. That's why they just need to have cross play, cross save, and cross everything, man. Cross your heart, hope to die, stick a needle in your eye. They need to have all that, man. So, uh, you know, maybe they will get to that point one day. Some people say you can even play the next gen game on current gen if you have cloud gaming and it plays pretty well. I don't know how competitive you're gonna be with it, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, the Blim Mike came back and said, signature jumpers have attributes. So that, it looks like they're introducing signature jumpers. And uh, and and so you're gonna have to have certain things to get these signature jumpers. Like, uh, and I don't know how this goes with the base. I don't know if these signature jumpers, the full signature jumpers are gonna be better, but we know in 2K that making your own jump shot has always been better than making, um, you know what I'm saying? Making your own jump shot always been better than just using what they got, so it is what it is. Yeah, I think y'all can't hear them doing doing the obnoxious, but it don't matter. Cities and jumpers have, have attributes and rating requirements. Uh, you know, make sure, and he's just saying, make sure that you got, that you make sure that you can get it with whoever you're gonna build uh, whenever you do. I mean, it's, it, it look like, I mean, like really, look at Steph, Kyrie, but ain't nobody using none of this. I don't see jump shot three. Look, let me tell y'all two things, bruh. Let me tell y'all something. I don't see jump shot. We don't know what jump shot's gonna be good next year, but we don't see jump shot three, and we sure don't see Rudy Gay on here. So, to 90% to, to of the 2K community, this is a non-issue. As long, I hope he's not on there. Does anybody, I use stuff, I use his base. Sometimes I use his release and stuff like that, but I don't use the pure jump shot. Trey Young, if I make a Trey Young, I might wanna, you know, do something like that. But at, at, at any rate, like I said, you know, T Mac, 88 three ball, stuff like that. So they're just saying that you gotta have, you gotta meet certain requirements to get certain shots. I don't know who uses full shots anyway, but uh, is he saying in the jump shot creator? But I don't I don't think anybody, is that just with a jump shot creator? Or let me see, have, have any signature animations been changed like Jason Tatum? A lot of signature jumpers have been changed, but I don't, we don't use signature jumpers. So like who, who uses that? Nobody truly competitive uses that, I don't think. So hey, it is what it is, man. Up next, he says, didn't make it in time, but working on adding a new controller setting to let you customize where your ideal release point is on your shots. Uh, early, early near takeoff or late closer, uh, closer to the wrist flick. Still working on the working out the kinks out of it, but it's gonna be fine. Hey, look, man, I appreciate that, man, because you know what I'm saying. In 2K, we like to have the fastest jump shot possible, so you know I'm, I'm gonna have that thing. I'm gonna have that la, la, uh, what what his name was the the um what's my guy name, man? The the Matrix, uh, Sean Marion. I'm gonna have that Sean Marion flick. I'm gonna get that thing up off my chest. We always looking for the quickest jump shot, so if you can let it go. Like you can, this just lets me know you can use pretty much any jump shot. And if it looks pretty, we can make it so the release point changes and you know, I can release it wherever I want to release it at, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's gonna be dope right there. Let's go straight to Baluba's Twitter one more time. Make sure he ain't dropped nothing else. Nope, he hadn't dropped anything else. And we are gonna get into this court side report real quick, man. Then we are gonna let y'all get up out of here, man. So um, I've read through this thing, man, and I really don't, Think, like you know, this offensive gameplay defense was a point of emphasis last year. Uh, a lot of people were begging to differ, but 2K23 is jam packed with new features and upgrades on the offense. So, two years in a row, basically they're saying two years in a row, offensive offense has been uh, an emphasis. Uh, you know, with the counterparts. Uh, let me see. Thinking, thinking how we could bring more authenticity to the game. We looked at our virtual games, how virtual games were playing. And uh, as compared to real life, and it was clear we needed to give more love to slashers who love to finish at the rim. I could agree with that. Uh, you can't make dunks worth three points though, so like it's not gonna really matter. But you know, this game about getting threes up and, and who can do whatever, man. Upgraded Pro Stick, the most obvious downgrade to the addition of the gesture combos uh, to the Pro Stick. Internally, we prefer, we refer to it as the mechanics of uh, of double throws. Whatever, man. We don't care about none of that stuff, man. Uh, what is this? Switch back, flicking, flicking the pro streak back in the direction, letting it center, and then quickly moving. Uh, these new gestures and introduce, all right, whatever, man. Introduce a lot of new weapons uh, for both shooting and ball handling. They say upgraded pro sticks. Uh, you know, 
We gonna figure that part out, bro. I ain't even tripping on that. Flex on the rim. Um, I think this is stuff that we've already known, that we've always known. But hey, we just gonna talk about it. Uh, for the dunk meet, the dunk meter, uh, meter skill dunks in NBA 2K22. Uh, the ability to four, we know that. Uh, let me see. We'll return, but the new commands allow us to to expand the dunking controls and let us know exactly how you want to uh, dunk without it, without accidentally firing off uh, one of those. So when driving to the basket with the sprint trigger hail, the new pro stick control map uh, for dunks is as follows. And I mean, we already know this, dog. Like, like okay, uh, yeah. Two hands, up, up is two hands, then you got right hand, left hand, unless you left hand or right hand, it'll be weak. So I just want to say right or left, it doesn't matter with that. Down, down, so down is hang on the rim, and it says what, up, 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 so up, up is the flashy two hand dunk now. Uh, up, down is the flashy one hand. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, down, up. Up, down is a normal skill dunk with the meter, and down, down is a rim hang skill dunk with the meter. I mean, that's dope, man. I mean, I think that's something that we gonna figure out, but I think this is the, this gives us the best of both worlds, because sometimes I just wanted to come in and do a flashy dunk with my guy, but I didn't want to do the, I didn't want to force a contact dunk, and I can't do contact dunk, so the meter will come up, and I got no chance to make the dunk, and then I fall on my, I fall on some brute them laugh at me so you know that's how it is man you'll notice you'll notice with the new map you have control over rim hangs i i, I like that because i used to hate that the rim hangs was in the game but we never could really do anything with it i would say for the new gen we've taken control we've taken the control to an all new level with physics based simulated rim hangs uh this is incredibly entertaining and one and wonderfully complex piece of tech I, I i feel it bro i want to take the time out and say i know how hard it is to it's hard to to program any game but a basketball game bro the reason that the game is so similar every year is because they have to build off what they did in the previous year because to program a basketball game with all the physics and everything that's going on like it's it's crazy like with football you just tie it to the person's hand that you're throwing it to and stuff like that basketball when you're shooting you got so many odds that have to go in so i i can only i can appreciate how tough it is let me see you're hanging definitely as long as you uh as long as you keep the trigger hell and you can let me say okay so here we go uh use one of the new rim hang dunk gestures mentioned above and uh, when driving toward the rim, but keep the sprint trigger hell when you're when the player uh, gets their hands to the rim. You'll hang indefinitely as long as you, as you keep the trigger hell, and you can use the left or the right stick uh, to adjust the momentum of the swinging body and the right stick uh, right stick to pull yourself up on the rim. I ain't gonna lie, I like them rim pulls, and I ain't gonna lie. This is all done through a physical simulation um, as opposed to canned animations. That's cool. It looks and feels amazing and all that stuff. So we gonna we gonna see we gonna see your boy do it right here, man. You know what I'm saying? My bad on that. So, but the good thing about this is the only thing that I'm seeing and I'm hearing is no more of the ridiculous <laughs> falling for no reason. Because a lot of people, why, why we got sweat up here? Gonna make you sweat, baby. Let the music take control. Let the rhythm move you. My bad, man. Swag. Hey, if you're from the Niners, swag. I know y'all boy damn it if you're from the Niners. Anyway, finesse your way to the rack. For slashers who want more. Hey, I know my boy Laker fan going crazy out there. Laker fan, I know you watching the video, man. Hey, hey just comment down below. Uh, for the slashers who, who for the slashers who, and, um, and Lil Thunder going crazy too. Thunder, I know you, you this, this at 12 minutes, so I know you ain't listening no more. For the slashes who want to finish with a little more finesse, double throw features are used for hop step layups while step backs, uh, while switch back gestures are used for Euro step and cradle layups, uh, which feel very natural. A new hold left or right will perform a simple off simple all new set of quick scoop layups that's gonna be dope man let's just look at the scoop layup man i don't want to take up too much of y'all time Ooh, look at that scoop layup i don't know if i don't know how i feel about it though it looked like that they looked like that thing was pretty contested man but he got the scoop layup but they're getting to something later on and y'all will understand it there for bigger stronger later for bigger stronger players yeah here we go right here for bigger stronger players you also experience a lot of new contact layups and uh con and content 
that properly shows what should happen when players like Giannis Antetokounmpo plow through. Why the hell do I have so much trouble reading some of this stuff? And I can say Giannis Antetokounmpo just right like that. Oh, who knows? But plow through everyone in his path. Brute about to go crazy. That, that, hey, Brute, I'm going to tell y'all something about Brute and T. They like getting to their rim. They like getting on their rim, boy. So if they're telling you that if you're a bigger, stronger player, you're going to be able to get to that rim and finish relentless, that's another badge. Relentless finisher. That's something that they took out of the game. I think they took that out of the game, but it's in the game. Because if you got a big dude, you see him go up there, y'all know the relentless finisher animation where he do that right there, and it goes in every time. So that's in the game, too. But uh, let me see. In addition, to we've, uh, we've added several new layup packages uh, for next gen, current gen, including Devin Booker, Joel Embiid, Allen Iverson. Hey, easy, my boy Magic Johnson, uh, Jokic, the Joker, uh, Zach Levine, or should I say Rack Levine, uh, John ja Morant, Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi, and more. Female players, question uh, mark? For, for post players, double throws can be used for post drop steps, hop steps. Switchbacks gestures will give you shimmy. Ooh, hit him with hit him ball with that shimmy shot hook. Uh, there are a bunch of new signature posts. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Combined mesmerizing skill move. Dribbling in NBA 2K20 in 2K has taken a life of its own. Ball handlers are, are going to enjoy new comboing up uh, in 2K23 as the new gesture combos give you even more options for your arsenal. Switchback gestures will now. So they're talking about the switchback. This is something they're really talking about, man. And another um. They are saying that, that you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. If you know how to dribble, then you'll be able to dribble. And I'm I'm fine with that as long as we don't have an easy exploit such as the speed boost left, speed boost right, speed boost left, speed boost right. As long as they don't have something like that in the game where you can circumvent this this complex system that they have put in, I'm I'm okay with it. Uh with which has grown to 15 options 28 learning to speed uh, to the speed of the stick throws and the timing of signature animations in especially important now because last year you didn't have to know nothing but just flick it up and run so you know it is what it is you can change your players normal gesture of normal signature size up by rocking the pro stick back and forth rhythmically okay that's dope so they so they went back to you know where you have to do the size up yourself rapid rapid double throws will give you uh, give the aforementioned new combo. So that's the that's that's the all this stuff right there, man. And then another another major dribbling change is the introduction of attacking size up. One of the one of the things we wanted to improve with dribbling in NBA 2K was was that. What was that while the size up moves look cool, they weren't useful. That is correct. You do you know somebody standing in in space while you size up? That's why nobody even used the size up. Uh except T T Brute, man man. Like people that really like to make it look like they're you playing real basketball, I, they would use it a lot. These are just people I know. I know a lot of people that we play against try to do it, but it, you know, they just, a lot of people don't do it. Um, the, the new attacking size up provides a lot more side to side movement and are much better at forcing defenders to drop and shift, allowing you to bait them one way or another and attack. While it's fun to clown your opponents with a flurry of flashy dribbles, we don't want to encourage players to dribble the entire shot clock out uh, while their teammates fall asleep. So, energy will be will deplete much quicker when you spam too many moves together. So it's important to be efficient and not play with your food too long. There's a long list of size ups to learn on paper, but they were all very simple and feel natural. Just you know, jumping to 2KU and practicing whatever. And this is something like here. So you, you're going to see uh, you see some of these size ups right here. You see stuff. Actually, he's sizing them up. but And that's what the size up is. It's just me getting the feel for what, I, what this guy is going to go for. So I'm literally sizing you up to see what he might bite on and what he might not bite on. So I think that's going to be dope. Another new feature is to prevent over dribbling in the... Uh, in, in the concept of, is the concept of adrenaline boost. There are three available boosts per player, per possession, shown as three small bars under the stamina meter. This is what Swante was talking about when you see the little bars under the stamina meter or whatever. Let me see if I can make it big. It'll probably be behind me if I make it big, so I'm, I'm not gonna do that. But you see those, and it just shows. One thing that y'all see is every time he's doing a move, he's eating up stamina. This is more, this is much more like 2K20 when 
when you couldn't just dribble all day, and when it was 18 to 18, you might have that much stamina and you're done. So at least you have your three adrenaline boosts. So you see, you can dribble the basketball all day, and then you got your three adrenaline boosts. So even if they have the left-right speed boosting in the game this year, you're only gonna be able to do it three times. It's gonna be one, two, three. Pass the ball. Pass the ball, bum uh, 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 hold on. Uh, 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 yeah, pass the ball. Ass. That's what you need to do. Pass the ball. I mean, unless you, unless you one of my guards, and then you dribble that thing and, and score. But you know what I'm saying? Like that's what we need. That's what we need more of. You gotta pay, and you only get three per possession. It's not you pass it and get it back, and you get no. It's per possession. So I think that's cool, man. We are gonna see how that goes. Uh, let me see. Boosts are consumed every time you perform a hard. Heart or uh, explosive launch. That's what I just said. Once once three of the boosts are gone, you'll notice that your speed and acceleration decrease significantly for the remainder of the possession. As it as with dribble combos, I'm sure if the ball hit the rim, you'll get it back and you'll be good. It's important to play smart basketball and be efficient, more um, and be efficient movement rather than zigzagging back and forth, aimlessly trying. So, hey, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Quavo was right. It's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be sick this year because you're not gonna be the guy that you were this year because that left right, you might be able to left right or you may find the exploit. But we can keep up with you for three of them. We just can't keep up with you for three of them and then you could burst to the rim. That's what we couldn't do. So now we really just gonna be sitting on it. One, two, three. Okay, he's out. Let's figure it out from there. So you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be cool. Uh, more authentic shooting. Shooting also gets get some nice upgrades in NBA 2K23 to successful. The success from the outside was heavily weighed toward coverage. If you if you could get an open look, you could balance uh you could balance out poor ratings and inaccurate timing. Yeah, and, and nobody really liked that. We wanted you to be able to hit but not the inaccurate timing. Uh, let me see. This year we wanted to we wanted a more authentic shooting model that captures the essence of the great NBA shooters. Uh the first major change is the addition of shooting attributes. Since the inception of the signature uh, signature jump shots in NBA 2K basketball, animations have been more and less, uh, more or less an aesthetic, but functionally the same. This year, each signature jump shot has unique shooting stats that help determine its effectiveness. So shot speed, how quickly this shot. So are they not gonna let us make jump shots this year? Please don't do that, bro. We need to be able to make jumpers like i hope that this doesn't mean we're not gonna be able to make our jump shots but how quickly the shot gets to the uh gets to the ideal release point how high the shot release is how effective the shot is against defense I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that i'm reading it slow but it's just like i can't believe i really hope that they did not replace our ability to create jump shots with this this can't be what they've done because this is a step backwards if they did we should definitely be able to circumvent that by making our own jump shots. I ain't gonna lie, but maybe they got tired of them. Let me see. Uh, timing impact, adjust shot window to re to reward good timing at the uh, at the cost of increased penalty for bad timing. We're also adding a huge number of shot animations to choose from over um, over double over double the amount in previous two Ks, and there's much more. They're much more accurate to the real life, so I can get my Draymond Green jump shot uh, shot animations will be gated with the shooting ratings. Just like, it's just like the dribbling moves are. So you'll have to play around. <sighs> I'm just sick of that. So you're about to play around with all the animations and see what works best for you. We're looking to, we're looking forward to seeing a lot of new, a lot more variety in the community. Shot six selection with the next evolution of the shot skill. And here we go right here. You see, you see, uh, that's James Harden uh, or who it, whoever it is. James Harden, it looks like James Harden. I started using that. At the end, shot meters and feedback. Uh, there are also five new shot meters, and we talked about this with 15 more that can be unlocked through the season over the, over the coming years. So some big, some small, some above the head, some to the side, and some below the shooter. So you can have your 2K uh, with a 2K 17 shot meter back, 16 shot meter back, or you can have a wink in the gun. Maybe new shot meter options were a common ask for from the community. I don't know, but can we turn it off though? Are you gonna force us to use it? I don't know. Uh, you'll also notice subtle change on how shot feedback works. We use the shots arcs to help indicate whether you're early, late, 
or idea. So it looks like with the shot stick, they had to take that out because people abused it and, and, and did stuff with it. So now this is where we are. So by paying attention, you can you can easily tell right away if you're shot. Okay, that's cool. So if it's early, it's gonna be a high arc, latest flat, and then on time is ideal. So you can just tell like how it come out your hand if it's, if it's early, late or whatever. So that's gonna be dope. Uh, it's a small change, but we really, but we, but it's really brings back some of the uh, drama uh, to the green and also encourages everyone to continue to play through the possession rather than giving up and getting back in transition early. You're never gonna stop that. The only way you're gonna stop people from getting back in transition early is stop people from being able to just launch the ball down the court, that's it. Uh, for some playmakers, for playmakers out there, you'll find some, some new tools at your disposal, the lead to the basket pass uh, makes it. <laughs> it's been in the the lead to the three point line pass is the one that we worried about, not the lead to the basket pass. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, you know, encouraging and allowing players to simply hold a triangle um, to get to get the receiver to cut to the basket and release the button. Another alternative is to uh is the new spot up pass mechanic again these are things that have already been in the game but now they're just going to tell us about it if you if you press and hold b hold b or circle the receiver you're pointing at will with the left stick will perform a quick v or flare out cut to get open on the perimeter but that's already in the game on next gen you just didn't have do you see what i'm saying they put something in the game is it like hot zone hunter in 18 and 19, you could, I mean, in 20, you couldn't shoot without hot zones. Then in 21, they, you know, the next one, they make the hot zone hunter. So they, it's like they implement something in the game and then the next year they give you control over it. So the perimeter pass, that's already been in the game, but now you have to do something in order to do it. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's always been like that, man. This is how it is. It's very useful hitting, uh, hitting the play and getting them open. Uh, when you run full blown play plays with your teammates, whatever defensive gameplay, as always, uh, defense remains a huge, huge priority uh, for the gameplay team. We know all of the offensive upgrades in the world don't make make fun make for a fun game if there are no counters to stop it. So let's talk about some of the great enhancements on the other end of the floor. Shot defense, shot defense received a nice overhaul. Uh, let's see. Up until last year, we were we used a simple shot defense calculation that looked at two specific points: the location of the defender, which that's why you can you can have your hands down, and and it's defense when the shot started and the proximity of the ball to the release. It worked well, but also had its shortcomings. If the defender's hands or arm moved slightly into a bad position right at the point of the shot. Uh, the calculation you could get a bad coverage score even though it looked like uh, an open contest and that's something that i hated because you could be shooting the ball at the three-point line and the corner and the center jumps from the free throw line to the corner and you get a great contest and that's just not cool so that's why i think they're saying that you know it seems like late late closeouts aren't as effective this year we've created a system that evalu evaluates the defensive player players contesting hands throughout a window of the shooting motion uh, with larger, with the larger sample set provided provides way more accuracy. Uh, resulting results help in uh, whatever, man. Uh, I, I don't believe. I believe it when I see it. But like I said, that's why, that's why players expect it based on what what they see happening on the screen. So what they're telling you is what you see on the screen is not what you really were seeing. You would see, you would think you're there, but but he would rise up over you, and then you're not there, and then you would hit it. But conversely, a center is gonna just pretty much cap the ball when he's on it. So you know it is what it is. For the floor game, uh, on the floor game, body body ups receive a major refresh. Uh, we with new content that more accurately depicts one on one play animations. I want to be out there playing like Clamp Guard, fouling like. That's what I want. I want to be playing like Clamp Guard to play with who Nick Briz or whatever. I want to be fouling like a mother out there that's what i want and y'all calling it good defense i want to be just like clamp guard every time you touch the ball i'm literally fouling the living out of you and they call it good defense that's what that's type of defense i want uh let me see you'll also notice a new indicator on the ball handler <laughs> hey i'm just saying what y'all want to say man uh the ball handling position this new defensive shading mechanic the three bars on on the indicator represent three zones uh straight up Shade left, shade right. The zone the defender is shown in, uh, shown in is, hold up. 
the zone the defender is in, defender's end is shown in red. If the ball handler attempts to attack a red lane, they'll get they'll get cut off. Lose the ball, I mean lose their dribble or form of the ball. That's all we want. That's all we want. I just want, I, that's all we want. If I'm there, make it count for something. Don't let him just run through my body. Great defenders can anticipate where the ball handler is attacking and will, not, and will now be more clearly rewarded for it. The shading system uh, works both on ball defenders, guarding the perimeter as well as post, and uh, as well as the post does a good shot, a uh, good job communicating to both the offense and the defense why collisions resolve the way that they do. Hey, as long as we can see it, man, if you tell me I'm not there and I'm not there, then I'm not there, man. Shot blocking, they pretty much just said shot blocking is now based on your rating. It's no longer, you're not gonna see a guard getting the chase down or none of that stuff. It's literally based on rating. So if you don't have a good rating, you're not gonna block a shot. If you got a good rating, you got a good chance. But if that dunker has a good dunk rating, he's gonna finish that dunk. Um, and it's gonna really be up to who got the higher rating. So you can do more dunks and stuff like that. And that, that's basically what they said right there. Ball and strips, ball strips and stuff like that. Basically what they were saying is ball strips are new improved, new and improved this year with tons of new content and better coverage. So if you're a smaller defender with quick hands, just to, you can be just as effective as slowing down a slasher as bigs in the paint as good, you know, as a good shot blocker. We've also added failed strip contact uh, layups to make sure defenders still input, I mean, defenders still inputs are respected instead of getting ignored. So sometimes you would try to go for the strip and then they just run on by you. But now it looks like if you go for the strip, you're probably gonna foul it or something like that. And there's gonna be a contact layup. So at least you can try to do something. I hope that's not overpowered, but uh, when the ball does get knocked loose or, you know, or still, so right here they're just saying that it's gonna be more 50-50 balls toward the sideline and they'll make better plays at throwing the ball back in and stuff like that. Badges and takeovers. Um, I don't think we really care about the new system. We just wanna look at, you know, look at the whole thing uh, here. And you can, you can, y'all can read this stuff, man, but I don't know if y'all want me to read it, all of it, but you know it is what it is. One of the first things everyone does when they pick up 2K and experiment with the builder system, we know that 5 5 blah, blah, blah. A huge addition to this build system is the animation, is that animation purchases will now be account bound rather than specific to the save file. Thank God! In other words, if you purchase an animation for your play shot build, it will be available to equip on your slasher build, assuming your player meets all the requirements. Current gen users, you are no longer limited by the pie chart, so we don't care about none of that. Thank you, Mike Wong, because I'm tired of building a guy and then saying, okay, it cost me 200,000 VC plus 30 grand for his for all of the animations. If you buy animation, it's there. I don't have to buy it, especially the cosmetic ones when I'm walking around and you know stuff like that. That is dope. Can't lie. New gen badge system. Um, let me see. The most impactful change uh, it comes in the building of players in the form of the blah 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 tier one, uh, category eight, tier two, tier four, tier three, and uh, let, me see. let me see. There are 16 badges per attribute category. Whatever, bro. We don't care about none of that. The motive behind the change was to encourage players to make some tough choices. So what, so what are they trying to say? The most impactful thing? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let's just read through it, I guess, man. Uh, became a little too overpowered, stacking certain badges together. That's true. This year, we're moving toward a tiered badge system. There are 16 badges per attribute category. Eight in tier, eight in tier one, four in tier two, four in tier three, uh, and tier one badges are the least powerful for your player. That's fine, but also cost the least amount of points. Cool. Uh, costs go up as you climb the tiers. So clamps on a on a defensive player, clamps probably gonna cost more than a than a than a center. The basic idea is that you'll need to equip a certain number of badges in the lower tiers before you can equip badges in the highest. Okay, that's cool. The motive behind this is. I mean, was to encourage players to make some tough choices when creating their badge, uh, badge recipes, make loadouts more valuable as uh, as a feature. So core badges, eh, whatever, we just gonna go on to it. Man, Slithery, make it easy, we know what Slithery is. Masher, this is a new badge. 
Uh, increased ability to finish inside layups over defender. Sound like relentless finisher to me. Um, area wizard ability to well, literally what I said makes it easier to gather through traffic. Yeah, that's what it's always been. Ability to successfully complete alley oop dunks. Area wizard. I mean, that's just lob city finisher. Uh, bully like Giannis and LeBron. You know, group gonna have this on bully like Giannis and LeBron. Able to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. Removed badge. Hook specialist. <laughs> Agent Reigns. Man, boy, Agent say he don't even play the game no more. They done put a badge on that boy. Hey, ability to hit difficult three-point shots off the dribble. Agent 3. Midi Magician. Ooh, that's me, Mr. Mid-Range. Boy, that's when I started out in 2K16. Improved ability to knock down mid-range jumpers off the uh, off the bounce or or, you know, uh, or out of the post like Asia. Amp bad, boy, AMP got a badge, boy. Reduces the shot attribute penalty when fatigued and when uh, moving. That sounds like uh, Tyler Shooter used to be uh, moving excesses prior to the shot. Claymore, this is Jive Turkey and the Claymore. Improve, I mean, increase a spot up shooter's ability to knock down uh, catch and shoot shots. Uh, jumpers, the longer they maintain stationary prior to shooting. So I don't know if that's like, but is that when I have the ball or while I'm standing there? It's like spot, like like limitless, like what was this? Uh, spot up shooter, spot, was it spot up? That was a bad badge, nobody used it because you had to, uh, you had to stand still. Comeback kid, improved ability to shoot perimeter jumpers when trailing in a game. Okay, I guess. Hands down, hand down, man down, that's nothing but, um, that's dead eye. Make an outside shooter even deadly if the opponent fails to get a hand up in their face. Uh, Space Creator, formerly a playmaking badge, is now boost the ability to hit step back shots and stuff like that. It should always been a shooting badge because, you know, that man, man, he gonna love that. Limitless Range, a oldie but a goodie, making shooters more effective with any shot attempt from deep range. It should have been like that. They tried to break it up in the shelf and, um, and uh you know limited spot up they couldn't get it to work uh remove badges chef hot zone hunter hot zone hunter is just gonna be in the game it's just gonna be back in the game in there uh lucky seven nobody really cared about it mismatch expert they needed to move to playmaking yes thank you for moving that one to to, to playmaking Set shooter, nobody cared. That's the bad thing about nobody cared about that sniper and limited spot up like they didn't need to be in there. Killer combos improves dribblers' effectiveness with size up dribbling moves. Okay, clamp breaker, which I don't want to hear about this badge, but it was this is this is a badge that was already in the game because you couldn't you couldn't do nothing and now they're putting a the badge in there to do it. Helps ball handlers win more one-on-one -on -one bump confrontations. We couldn't even bump you this year because clamp breaker was just in the game. Vice grip improves ball security. So that's like tight handles, not tight handles. What was it? Uh um unpluckable uh so improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound oh no that's for us that's for big boys so when we get the boards y'all can't just spam 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 immediately after after securing a rebound catch or picking up the ball great badge for bigs thank goodness see that stuff is in the game like i say it's in the game they just have to put a badge or attribute on it to tie it in mismatch expert formerly a shooting badge this badge now helps smaller guards break down Thank you. This is what it should have been in the first place. It should never have been you can shoot over people. It should always have been if he's on the perimeter and you're standing in front of me, I'm f up and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what it should have been. It should have been like, just like when James Harden, what, was it a clip? Was it James Harden on uh, Rudy Gobert when he just hit him with something, he just fell and his legs just turned to jelly. That's how it should have been. Bullet pass are gone, downhill gone. That should have been, uh, glue hands gone. Uh, stop and go. Glue hands just gonna be in the game now. It's probably gonna go with your ball handling. So you know it is what it is. Defense and rebound and ankle a crucial badge for late line uh, of bigs. Improve the ability to block shots and contests uh, in the paint. Dope badge. Box out beast helps rebounders. That's, this is just box. Uh, help rebounders box out battles. Uh, more offensive and defensive rebounder situations. Workhorse. The Pat Bev badge the, that boosts your ability to hustle down. So this is just hustle. Hustle down 50 50 play and hard nose balls. I mean, that's all it is. Glove, name for the legendary GP. Are you with me? Oh yeah, have a chase week. Hey, but look though, it's a GP helps you, helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free and stuff like that. So that's not like clamps, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Also could have been the Stacey Augman badge or the Mookie Blaylock badge. Challenge improves the effectiveness of uh, perimeter shots challenges. So that's cool because we couldn't have you couldn't get um, uh, what was it, Intimidator. 
So you couldn't get Intimidator. Intimidator didn't do anything for the perimeter, and we saw the ramifications of that this year. So now Intimidator, you know, it just is what it is. And our Takeover redesign, uh, Takeovers are, are special abilities. We know what Takeovers are. In the last couple of versions, uh, player activate team Takeover for the entire team and make everybody hot after filling up a bar of the primary. For 2K23, Team Takeover works as a cooperative team system with the entire team sharing a single takeover meter that's gonna be dope each player on the team has an equal portion that they're that they're responsible for filling up by performing well on the court and being teammates uh once each player has filled up their portion of the meter team takeover automatically fires off for the entire team the new design makes a lot more sense and the yes it does because now you can't just put on accelerator no more you just got it you, you good now represent what it means to be hot as a team and take so if gambit getting three blocks brute scoring and i'm doing what i do which is sitting in the corner doing nothing just hitting the shot when it get there but i'm playing on ball defense we gonna get team takeover more than a team that you know, it's just doing their AI gameplay, bro. We don't care about no AI gameplay. Uh, it is what it is. We're going to see what they do. They either going to be super trash or super OP. It is what it is. It, whatever. All right, this year on the on both ends of the court, you'll see an improved gameplay that should translate to more wins and more seamless action. We can't wait for the community to experience this year's game. Explore the new, I mean, explore the all new features and discover for a, I mean, discover a lot of hidden things we've snuck in the game. NBA 2K23 hit shelves November, I mean, September 9th. So that's almost, that's a month and six days now. But you can reserve your copy today. That's all we got for y'all, man. The video was already long enough, 41 minutes. I ain't trying to make it be that long, man. Y'all know that. But hey, it's a lot of information to get to and a little time to get to it in. Appreciate y'all watching this joint, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Come by the stream today. We're going to stream and we're going to, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to chop it up about this. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.